Hi everybody, it's Robin. I'm here with Nameless what? and we are, I am finally feeling better. Thank you guys for all of the well wishes. I have started this tutorial with a uh, coat of French manicure pink and I used uh, Peacefully Me, my favorite French manicure polish, but whatever works for you. And I'm going in with Fantasy Maker Confetti Hollow Glitter. Any hollow glitter will do. Here, move over. <laughs> I'm pouring out <laughs> I'm pouring out my favorite right here like that okay now I'm gonna take a little bit of top coat and pour it on top and it immediately goes to the sides see how it bunches up on the sides that's what you want then with a brush um, I will stir out with the end of my brush and this is my liner brush it's called the wand it is available at robinmosesnailart.com that's where I sell my brushes so I'm gonna mix it in there and clean the other end I clean it using my dispenser I've had this this dispenser for 25 years <laughs> and I go like this I try not to go into the neck I just kind of clean the bristles like this I never get stuff into my neck if you do it starts to break it down and your bristles fall out I roll it I roll that's how you get it to get a point and then I'm gonna go in with the bristles keep the bristles on the end like this and then about halfway up through the design, I'm going to go in and just hollow glitter a tip. Now, each client you have will have certain things that they love and certain things that will not work for them. And for Nameless, she can't have colors by the cuticle. It drives her crazy. So I put all the colors on the tips. So I'm going to finish this out to where it looks like the background is hollow glitter. So I'm not going down to the edge of the nail although you could and you could just take a hollow glitter and just hit the tips but I'm just gonna keep the the uh, glitter in the center meet you back okay so now for the next step I'm gonna take okay these are all acrylic paints you buy them at the craft store they let me show you one oh. <laughs> okay they look like this they're apple barrel they come in two ounces this is 50 cents to a dollar at Walmart or any craft store and I have all different colors and I have those out today. We are going to use a sponge. So I take a piece of a dish sponge and cut it up and then I spray it with a mister and it's a body mist. If you use a body mist spray then it sprays very lightly and evenly so that when you're pulling up the paint into your sponge your paint has been, your, your sponge is nice and damp, the, the paint is what nice and damp and then I'm going to take, zoom in, if I can, there we go. I'm going to zoom in, and then I'm going to take just the tip of the, the sponge like this and kind of work it in, in circles like this. I move the sponge around and the finger around and make sure that the, the, the end is covered, but it doesn't touch into too much of the glitter. And like this and then pull up into the design and then push two dots and then lift my brush so that it barely stretches and make little hearts coming out of the top through the design like this and they'll be very tiny and whimsical like this I'm not going to put them all over the design. I just want them to enhance here and there. Like that. Change of plans. Oh my God. This so I took off the teal and I'm putting in some red glitter. Okay, this glitter is by Enos Cosmetics, and you can find them on Facebook. Um, I just poured out a little tiny bit and I'm going to go in with the same application as I did before using wet and wild top coat and I try and use wet and wild sometimes I use dazzle dry but when I do I have to be quick so here we go wet and wild 99 cents mixes any glitter and any pigment like eyeshadow into a polish 
So I'll have more on that at the end of this video if you want to talk if you want to hear me talk about some stuff. I'm going to talk about that. Anyways, there we go. Mixed into a beautiful glitter. Oh my god, it's so pretty. Oh, I love it. Okay, <laughs> so we're going to go in and then we're going to touch. I, I top coated one time over the glitter and the black and I clearly saw that teal was not going to be as effective as red. So with red, I'm going to add in to the black like this just on the tops and I might go into a few of these hearts but not all of them I'm just going to add a little bit of red to the end this is going to give the illusion of like some kind of like maybe fire or heat red and black red black and hollow just like this that was Siggy that's that's Siggy out there screaming like this that's just going to add a dimension to that. Then, lastly, I'm going to go in with some um, wild, wet and wild black top coat. I mean, uh, polish. Sorry. All these terms. And cap each one. This will make sure that they wear evenly and smoothly instead of having just um, paint on the end of the nail. You want to have polish on the end of the nail always, whenever possible always and if you're wearing um, a regular top coat it would be great if you glittered on the ends because glitter wears better than polish so just dab a little and that will last that's the difference between her nails wearing on day three and her nails wearing on day 14 it just is so I'm going to finish that up and meet you back okay so here it is and it's almost like heart lava and I'm gonna start this it's it's evil it's glittery it's reflective and it's lovely let me change the background so you guys can get a better look and then I'm gonna I'm gonna let um, nameless show you guys and will you show the thumbs anyways I believe that with the glitters that you can buy and all of what I've used, this design costs pennies. And um, with the brushes, and the brushes last years, if you take care of them, there's a brush care video that's on my website and in my frequently asked uh, questions playlist. It's on the front page of my YouTube channel. And that will answer what paints I use, what polishes I use, what brushes I use, etc. And it'll just get you started if you're just finding my channel. For those of you guys who watch my channel all the time, I want to thank you and I want to talk a little bit about uh, mixing and stuff like that and products. So and because it's the end of the video, I'll show you. This is what I got in the mail. Let me show you. Okay, so <laughs> bless you. I'll have, I'll have pictures of her nails on the blog. But I got this in the mail and there's a whole bunch of these. And you open them. Oops, I opened it wrong but you open them. I'm going to get a thing. I made videos about using eyeshadow for for um, nails. Now you get these things and you open them. You make a mess and you pour them out into this bottle of polish. And all it is is eyeshadow. Now I'm going to give you an eyeshadow that an esthetician gave me 28 years ago pigment. One of the first pigments I ever got. This pigment has lasted me my entire career. This one pigment. Same thing. Same exact thing. Let's give, let's take the polish that they, that they put into this system and um, no, forget it. I'm, I'm going to just put in a polish. But all you have to do is take eyeshadow put a little bit of nail polish in and mix it. That's it. That's 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 that one mixed. That's this is a 28 year old pigment mixed. It's the same exact thing. And what they're doing is they're selling back a technique that I'm teaching you for free and they're making you pay an ex extremely high price for the same exact ingredient. You can use eyeshadow in nail art. 
if you look in my hot playlist and you see me using pigments in any type of way, this is eyeshadow. You can mix this and use this for your nails and your eyeshadow so it matches if you have some kind of crazy um, design or thing going out that you need to match everything. So I want you to know to not be duped and, and pay extra for stuff that these companies are using our channels for to profit from. So I want to speak against that kind of stuff. I do not believe in that kind of thing. I believe in you guys as hard work and dedication and you don't have to buy a whole bunch of stuff to get products that leave your nails beautiful for hardly any money and, and they're paying your clients are paying for your craftsmanship that your clients are paying for your service and your time and your energy that's what they're paying for so i hope that you take that away and have a wonderful valentine's day <laughs> bye everybody pinstripe. what pinstripe oh and if you put pinstripes under this we were talking okay if you put white pinstripes under this before you started this would be freaking hot just a little addition we didn't do it, and I wish I did. Anyways, see you back with more. Bye. Bye. Boop.